Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Um, this is an update on Rio. I know we talked last time we were giving him some time to see how everything was working, all that stuff um, with the medicine. And um, so basically, I'm um, gonna kind of backtrack a little. So if I'm saying some of the same things, I'm sorry. Um, so basically he had his steroid shot. She gave him an antihistamine. It took, or uh, it takes two weeks to go into effect. And so we've come up on the two weeks. And I was just waiting just to see maybe by some miracle, something would happen. And you know, it's not that miracles can't happen. It's just sometimes things happen for a reason. And so um, as I was waiting and I came up to see him, I heard he's just, sounds the same he has this whole time and um I had actually called the vet that night um after I came to check on him after he'd had his steroid shot because according to her his steroid shot should have affected him in some way I should have noticed a difference in how he sounded by that evening when I came back to see him and I really didn't notice a difference so the next morning i called her and um just let her know uh what the deal was and um after talking with her and hearing the unfortunate news that his breathing hadn't changed with the steroid she recommended that before we do anything else like give another steroid things like that that i get him checked out by a specialist and that they should x-ray his chest. And even though they do have um, x-rays at the vet, um, they do not have the kind that is truly going to see what's happening in his chest, as well as the people who are um, specialized in equine um, diagnosis and stuff like that. Someone who maybe has seen something like this before because it's different than probably everything else and so it's like great um I just dropped a huge chunk of money on a vet bill and not only was it just a lot of money but um the things that I spent the money on didn't even work so um not that I'm like strapped for cash as far as taking care of them and making sure they get all of the things they need I put into account already to make sure that I had all their basic needs to take care of um, after the vet visit. So they're fine in that regard and they will be fine. Um, the big thing is, is I just need to recover from said um, chunk and then I will be looking into where to go. Uh, the cl one of the closer places is a place called Tryon. It is in North Carolina and it is an equine vet and um, it's the closest and a lot closer than I thought. So that was quite a relief because that was probably the biggest thing that was worrying me was because now when my trailer isn't ready yet and then my trainer's trailer um, is actually getting fixed currently, it had, it, it had an accident when her last um, time using it. And so the axle was bent and so she's having to get that fixed. And um, because of that, I would have to hire someone outside of someone I knew to take me up there. And I wasn't sure how much that was gonna cost on its own. So knowing that there is a place close-ish, uh, closer than I expected anyway, um, is very relieving. So um, I was gonna give the antihistamine a chance to see if it would work out. Um, it was a very low chance only because um, if the steroid wasn't going to work, the antihistamines weren't going to work because the steroid was basically a boost to suppress the issue um, of the breathing issue and the antihistamine is meant to just kind of keep it down there. So it's not very strong. It's not as strong as the um, steroid. So I didn't have a lot of hope for that. If that couldn't do anything, then I doubted um, the antihistamine would. And so far, it has not done anything different. He sounds the same. Um, I would be so much more worried about him. Um, I'm not as worried as I thought I would be um, because he 
just acts normal. He runs around, he trots around, he'll canter sometimes, just out in the field. And, um, you know, I imagine that if I was truly struggling to breathe, um, I would try to keep my activity to the extreme minimum, as minimum as I possibly could. And so that gives me hope that at least he's not horribly like, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Anyways, so I will be going on a trip here in a little bit. Um, and once I get back from that trip, uh, then we're gonna start putting things into motion because there's not really anything I can do until after the trip. And I'm just going to relax, know that I can't do anything until then. My trainer's going to continue to give him his medicine supplements. Hopefully it might make a difference if it if he uses it a little bit longer, we're just gonna see. That'll be three weeks, four weeks, four or five. I don't know, anyway, it's gonna be longer than the two weeks, that's all I know. So it's gonna give him a little extra time to see if, who knows, it won't hurt him, that's for sure. Anyways, um, so that's the update on him. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Just. Keep me and Rio in your prayers. Bye, guys.